Give us a little bit of a brief history of yourself as a breeder and trainer of Neapolitan Mastiffs. Uh, I've been working with the larger breed dogs since the later 70s, approximately 1975 I started. I had originally been training Schutzhund dogs and also dogs for specialty either with seeing eye or certain applications for search and rescue. Uh, after that point, I left the dogs that I originally started using, which were the Giant Schnauzer, German Shepherd, and Rottweiler, and upon introduction to the Neos, started using those because of their larger size, their ease of training, and I've been continuing to use them now for approximately 15 years and had no problems with them with my training programs, and I found them to be very adaptable for my uses. Hi, my name is Liz Gentry and my husband Mike Gentry. We own a Neapolitan Mastiff. This is Bonnie, she's a year old. Um, we live in Norwalk, Connecticut, and um, she's a great dog. The firmest information leads you to believe that they came from an area called Azria, which is in the Arabian area between, say, the Red Sea and the Arabian Sea. Uh, they were used at that time as depicted by a stone relief in the British Museum of Natural History approximately 2500 BC Neapolitan Mastiff type dogs being of short hair, strong and muscular were used to hunt lions and then from that point they were taken through different leaders and different conquerors to be used in battle and they spread all across the Mediterranean and European areas uh, what type of environment does the breed need? Uh, the, the dogs should have a reasonable amount of exercise per day. If a yard can't be used, then at least I recommend a two-mile walk in the morning and at night so the dog can release excess energy to move his joints properly and to keep him roundly socialized. Uh, socially, the dog should be, from the time of of receiving it from the breeder it should be on a strict regime of socialization meeting children people of different races people of different sizes loud people quiet people it should be brought around cars it should have no inhibitions about the world around it which could possibly make it nervous or cause other psychological problems which later on would come out if these early problems were not solved by socialization how does the breed adjust to different influences in his life, such as children, strangers, other dogs? The main thing is that at a young age, the dogs are very impressionable, so that you want to make sure that they have no hang-ups or any type of weird, uncomfortable feelings about their surroundings, which could make them either, really, either aggressive or shy, both, you know, such, both different uh, temperaments you don't really want. You want a, a balance there. You want a, a, a dog that is suspicious of strangers, but if it's told properly to act, that it should be, tr you know, accepting of them and, uh, you know, not go after them and just bite them just for the sheer fact of biting them because it does not understand that that isn't what you want. So, you know, I, I stress early socialization with these dogs around people and other animals so that they don't have any hang-ups when they get older, because it just hinders the, the future training I would like to do with the animals. Good girl, buddy. Fuck. Fuck. Get her off me. Good girl. Fuck. Fuck. Good girl. 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 Fuck.
to be concerned about uh, mange and hip dysplasia. Uh, certain other disorders I've noticed in, in certain bloodlines that I've seen new into the United States have been uh, sudden death while they are working. Uh, later on, it was discovered they had, you know, defective hearts, which are, you know, it's a birth defect. Uh, some of them seem to be weak-hipped and are okay in a standing position or they are okay in a normal format of walking but if these dogs are worked which means they are ran at a minimum pace or had to perform a, a you know a a function that i would consider part of a working dog they don't actually have the muscular structure in the back to do the work uh, some i have found cannot run at all for any distance uh, this should be an important factor in buying one of these dogs that you a are able to see the parents, that you examine them, that they appear to be hip healthy, and that the breeder has other dogs that are from these parents or other dogs that he has worked with that he can show you that what he is doing is producing healthy dogs and that his goal is to make sure they do not end up put to sleep because of lame hip problems since a dog that is lame and a dog that has bad hips is useless and then causes nothing but grief for the family that you sell it to. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the trainability of the Neapolitan Mastiff? Uh, trainability seems to be uh, very good. They seem to be very willing to learn. They have a lot of drive. They like working, and they like doing you know what you're showing them. Uh, usually, you get very very little resistance and correction, and they usually never show tendencies of not wanting to work or obstinance towards the trainer which are characteristics in other breeds that I, I don't care for. Uh, they always are willing to do what you wish and they always seem like they want to please. Uh, their, their adaptability to different situations is excellent and they work well in all different situations as long as they were trained properly for that and they don't have any hang-ups about it. Was there a particular uh, event that happened with one of your dogs uh, where uh, it actually had to come to the defense of a particular person? Um, yes, we, we had a, an incident where a, a woman was on her uh, property working with the uh, plants and things like that in her yard and an individual came over a, a stone wall, approximately eight feet tall, started running towards the woman. Uh, the woman yelled. The uh, the dog came out from under the tree and hit the assailant uh, in midair uh, while he had knocked my client down. Um, the man pulled out a four-inch buck knife. Um, the dog was stabbed in the side and then uh, responded by breaking the man's elbow and leaving him with about 90 stitches in one arm and then uh, proceeded to attack him as the man continued to fight back. Uh, my customer called the police, running in the house while, while the dog was fighting to protect her. Uh, receiving between 14 and 20 stitches to his body 
and deep punctures and gashes to the chest and neck area. Um, when the police had arrived, the dog had the assailant down. Um, he later on had to be treated at a hospital where he received approximately 250 stitches and had to have uh, two fingers sewn back on his right hand uh, from the dog uh, fighting him. It was later found that this person was out only four months from an aggravated assault and armed robbery charge previously and that you know he would have killed or severely injured uh, my client if you know if the dog was not there he was not there to mess around and uh, neither was the dog so the dog you know did what it had to and uh, the person was severely attacked uh, usually just the sight of the Neapolitan Mastiff deters any criminals however uh, sometimes the deterrent does not work and these people feel that they can hold their own with a you know 150 pound guard dog and that they're very mistaken and usually they they find that the dogs are overwhelming and that when they're hit by these dogs running at them full speed it's all they can do to stay on their feet and to protect themselves did the dog survive this incident or uh, the dog was injured severely he uh, recuperated for about two to three months and uh, still was, you know, working at the last time I had contacted the person about two years ago. He was still patrolling and things like that, and he, he's almost six now. So the wounds were not fatal. I would count on my dogs and I, I would trust them to protect my family. And uh, even if I have other people over and I have their kids over sometimes, I can bring a dog in and we can go out with the adults and I know that no one's going to come in my house with these children. 